In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the shell tool as found at the top of this tab here. And I'm going to be showing you how to use it on this little orange cube. And the shell tool is actually very straightforward, so it should be a quick and easy one for you today. So in order to use the shell tool, what you're going to need is a body already created. Right now, I have a 30 by 30 by 30 uh, cube. And what we're going to do is just select the shell tool and you'll find that in the modify section at the top here. And then you'll have a menu appear. So before you start messing around with the settings inside the menu, you need to decide which of the faces you plan to apply the shell tool. So if I select the top face right here, you'll see that the inside has been hollowed out from the top and then the rest of them will remain intact creating your shell pretty straightforward so i'll just delete that real quick and now we're going to take a look at the different options that we have available within the shell menu so the first one the most obvious one is this thickness right here so i'm going to select it and then i'm going to change the thickness and that should display to you just exactly what it's doing so this wall right here is a five mil thick wall pretty straightforward so i'm going to set it to five yeah we'll stay with five <clears throat> and then we'll start showing you the different modes for this as seen here so right now we have it on the inside mode and what that means is the overall size of this cube remains at 30 by 30 whereas if i was to decide to do the outside mode what this does is it means this inside hole right here is 30 by 30 and then a five mil wall has been applied to the outside so the original cube that i had is actually completely gone now and we've just created a shell around it and the overall size of it has increased by 10 mil and that is because we've got an extra 5 mil on the left hand side and the right hand side pretty self-explanatory anyway the last is then both and I'm going to keep it a 5 mil thickness for the sake of easy math and now what has happened is we'll have two and a half mil in and then two and a half mil out and this will result in a bit of a halfway point. So now we've got an extra five mil overall because that's two and a half mil out on the left-hand side and then two and a half mil out on the right-hand side. And this one is typically not used and the inside one is what I would go for because it means that your original shape as seen here is still the same size once you've applied the shell command. But if for some reason you wanted the entirety of this orange cube to be uh, hollow, <clears throat> and then to create a shell around it, then you want to be using the outside command, and this just creates a big shell around your original cube. So yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Make sure to take a look at the link in the description. It takes you to my Udemy course, which teaches everything that you need to know if you're a beginner or even an intermediate for Autodesk Inventor. It has everything in one place. Trust me, it's very useful. And thank you for watching.